Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our preparations films, this time in preparation for the London to, Bi London to Dubai 2011 trip. It'll take me a while to get used to saying that. Um, yes, and I'm doing this trip today again with uh, Les and another friend of mine, Jamal, down to the Isle of Wight and it will be one of the many trips in preparation for the longer journey ahead. Now let me introduce you to the other riders. Name? No, stand by your bike. Say your name. Hello, my name is Jamal. And what kind of motorcycle do you have? Uh, to be honest, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but it's, uh, yeah, it's alright. That's Africa Twin, 750. And this will be your first trip going on a ferry? Uh, no, I have been, but in a car. First trip, yeah, on a motorbike. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward for that. I think this is uh, the longest journey so far for me. <laughs> With you, of course. <laughs> Jamal's very much into filming as well. Yeah, I want well, to be in a film which as well. Will, which will, which will give know? us some extra footage. I've got a head eye, a very slight head eye. <laughs> really? Well, I've had it for several days. And with us again on this trip is Les Ta -da! and his Bonnie Lass. And we're about to board the ferry to the Isle of Wight. Let's go! So Jamal, yes. first impressions of being on a ferry with your oh, motorcycle? I'm really so glad that I'm here. It's nice weather and it's nice company. Legs. Thank you. Welcome. Very pretty hotels here on the island, and the view from the window is absolutely amazing. Do you know, Les, I wonder if this has got to be the place with the most frequent ferry service between two places. Yeah. What do you think? Because yeah. I can constantly see a boat coming and going, coming and going. It's a beautiful sunset, isn't it? I like the way the light from the sunset reflects gold on these cannons. Uh, the flag up here is just, just fluttering up slightly on the top of this mast here in the breeze. That's the flag that all big yachts will fly. Yeah, it's it's got the Union Jack and the Union flag, which right. is the Cross of St George. Oh, this is the first time I see that. Zain Jamal, شو رأيك عن هذه الجزيرة؟ جميلة. الجو حلو رائع أكثر من حلو. Quiet, it's not busy. Yeah. So, Jamal, you usually a, yeah, a camping a, guy? You know, it's, a, it's nice something for a change after. To be in a bed and breakfast. Maybe within, as I told you, 10 years. Oh, mm. yeah, it's an excellent idea. Second idea. time. For change is good. I think we should change it. <coughs> like Let's get into yeah, camping. To enjoy, yeah, to enjoy yeah. life yeah. more. Definitely. He's yeah. No, I definitely don't do camping. I, I, I just don't like it. I had some bad experiences and I. I just, I'm just not interested. I prefer doing bed and breakfasts and hotels and so on. Sorry, I just can't. <laughs> yeah. You won't change, change now, will you? No, As no Sandra way. As was saying about <laughs> me. We're all sad. <laughs> Next up is the ride to Clamborne Watermill. The mill that you can see dates from between 1750 and 1850. The oldest bit we can point at is this bit of wall over here where it gets thicker, and then thicker again downstairs. And that's somewhere around 1590. Our first written record is the Doomsday Book. We know there was a mill here then, described as two mills under one roof. By that, they meant two pairs of millstones in a single building. So it would have looked much as it does today, only probably a timber structure rather than a stone one. But we can safely say we've been milling flour here for over a thousand years. How much bread do you produce here? Uh, we, we produce around 50 to 60 tonnes a year. Most of upstairs is just bins and hoppers and feeders. Although next door is a screen pump for sieving power. The mill has a museum located right next to it, with stuff from days gone by. You know you're not the youngest one anymore when you see some of the stuff from your childhood in museums. And there's the water wheel that we didn't manage to see properly last time. What's that water wheel for? 
well it had a belt on it originally and it obviously used to drive something to mill perhaps a little bit more flour if they needed it a particular type or what. Mm. These traction engines were used in the fields to harvest uh, corn. Still accurate after all this time. Historically, they were used to raise water. Yeah. Um, so, um, so they just um, have donkeys here. Jamel has left this, and he's just gone up the road here, and he's hoping to get photographed. Yes, another sunset from a high point, but the way things are looking, I don't think he's going to be successful tonight. Now today's sunset is not as spectacular as yesterday's. It's absolutely <laughs> not so exciting today well, for some reason. It's still it's very strange. mild. It's isn't strange it? how it happens. Some days you get a spectacular sunset, and then there's, even though skies, well, what to do? Yeah. Well, we've got a few cloud, but the, the sunset's not very good this evening. No, no. Where is it? Mm. Did you get your picture? No, I didn't have any because no. we missed the sun. Next stop is a ride along the coast to get a better view of the sunset. There you go, Isle of Wight. Beautiful sunsets guaranteed. Yeah. That's that's quite different, isn't it? Hi. I like it here. From down it's here? No Much far. better. Yeah. Going to Egypt Point. This is called Egypt Point. Now that is a massive uh, tower as you can see and it is, yeah. it's true. It, it, the gas is pumped to the top of that and then pumped down and we are actually standing on a pipeline under our feet is a pipeline yeah. from there to that triangle uh, the pipeline runs here and that is the whole of the it's a massive pipe and it's the gas supply for the Isle of Wight for the whole of the Isle of Wight yeah. this is also where the lads on motorcycles come to do over 100 mile an hour on this road. Oh, oh, what do you want to do that for? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, people always criticize me for taking too many pictures, you know, and making videos and films and everything. <laughs> but I think they haven't met Jamal yet. Jamal really is, is even much more than me. <laughs> That's He's why I go with you everywhere. Yeah. If you don't like pictures, yeah. I No, I, 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 I don't mind, I don't know. But I mean, I just... People who complain about me, they should meet you, then they wouldn't complain about Wait, me anymore. Look at that, look at that, without looking even. Look, 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 look. Can you? Amazing, man. Yeah? Absolutely wonderful. Well, this is our last night on the Isle of Wight, and we've seen quite a lot. Tomorrow we'll be going to the coast, and we'll be checking out the needles. Coast. The coast. The coast. Uh, the coast. coast. No, no, no. Okay. And if you want, you can take a boat ride, and you can check out the... The, the coastal area and the, and the cliffs. Mm -hmm. How did you like the Isle of Wight so far? Good? Okay. Nice weather, friendly people. Yeah. Really feel you are in peace here. Yeah. It's really nice. So you liked it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Good thing. Lots of things to see, you know, friendly people and, and scenery is quite nice. Uh. Main thing is quiet, it's not too busy. This yeah. is what I like about it. Okay. And the people are friendly as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get some sleep and tomorrow we go and check out the coast then. Oh yeah, we need it. Okay. We need to sleep. Yeah. We need though. Pain. Definitely though. Same. Lille Saida. Lille Saida. Lille Saida. Yeah. Spare, yeah.